All right, thank you guys. Welcome to our college basketball installment video for Thursday, February 4th, 2021. We got a lot of West Coast games here uh, today on a Thursday. And if you really end up enjoying this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up by smashing that like button. And if you're new here and you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please feel free to do that right now as well. I greatly appreciate it. Now, for those who don't already know, my name is Brock Page, and I do sports picks for free right here on YouTube. And if you want to know what all my picks are for this video right now, you can actually locate them in my quick pick recap at the end of the video. There's a link in my uh, comment section below for the quick pick recap. It's pretty much every pick for this video wrapped up in about 30 seconds. But if you want to stick around and uh, listen to the breakdowns and hang out with me a little bit, I'd love to have you. I think we're going to have a pretty good time here. And we do have ourselves, uh, you know what, a somewhat smaller slate, uh, slate of college basketball action, but a couple marquee games. So, uh, you know, with that said, let's go ahead and dive into them. We're going to start with Cincinnati taking on Temple. Now, that's going to be a 7 p.m. Eastern start time. The Cincinnati Bearcats are minus one and a half away from home. Totals 139 and a half, juice to the over. And if you like the Temple Owls at the Leocor Center here this evening, they're plus $1.20 on the money line. Now, we've been victorious in five out of our last six $1.99 daily best plays on patreon.com slash Brock Page. And if you want to access today's daily best play, it's only going to cost you just $1.99 when you click the link in the description section below. We also have a membership on that site called the Board Member Tier. And that package gives you access to every single pick that I give out on that site every single day until March 1st. Uh, it's certainly the best uh, package that I offer on that site. Now, we currently have a community of over 1,075 paid members who are signed up and active on that page. And if you want to join those folks and get in on the action, I'd love to have you. Link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. Now, Temple successfully covered the point spread in four out of their last six ball games. Just 68 points a night they're giving up as the home team. The Owls are also holding their opponents to just 41% shooting from the field. Damian Dunn scoring over 14 points a game for Temple. Four rebounds and a couple assists for the 6'5 guard. Meanwhile, Jake Forrester scoring uh, double digits a night himself along with seven rebounds. Now they're taking on a Cincinnati team who lost six out of their last seven ball games, and they went just two and eight against the spread in their last 10. The Bearcats are averaging just 69 points a game, and they're making only 28% of their three-pointers. Cincinnati's also dropped four of five on the road this season, and they gave up 75 points a game in those contests. Now total-wise, Cincinnati's last six straight ball games got over the number, they also went 4-1 of the over in their road games. Meanwhile, Temple saw their last two straight get over the line themselves. 60% uh, to the over in their last 10 meetings with Cincinnati. So with all that in mind, I'm going to lean toward the underdog Temple Owls plus 1.5 and, and the over 139 and a hook. And once again, uh, guys, if you're new to this channel here this week, uh, just want to take another quick timeout. And welcome you to the program here today. Got some lines and personal leans out for Thursday's college basketball action here. Happy Thursday to you. The weekend is right around the corner. Uh, another long week uh, that you made it through. So congratulations. And for those who are feeling like maybe they have the sniffles here today, well, maybe your weekend starts here tonight. But uh, anyway, guys, before we dive into some more free content right here on YouTube, I just have to quickly remind you once again that we've won five out of our last $6.99 daily best plays on patreon.com slash Brock Page. And if you want to unlock today's daily best play, it's just $1.99 when you click the link in the description section below. We also have a board member tier package that gives you access to all my premium picks I give out on that site every single day until March 1st. And that is our top tier membership. That is your best value if you're going to sign up. Now, just remember here, guys, when you sign up for a membership on Patreon, you're going to get access to all the lesser expensive memberships absolutely free. Patreon's going to bill you the day you sign up 
and then the first of every month following that. And for those who are wondering what the difference is between my free picks here on YouTube and my Patreon site, well, what I do on Patreon is I make life a lot easier for you as I break down the daily card and focus in on just four to five premium selections per day. They're my personal plays, games that I personally have action on. And I'll tell you this much, I'm having a lot more success wagering on games that way in smaller sample sizes versus betting on every single game that's on the slate side in total like I do here with my free leans on YouTube. Now, we do currently have over 1,075 paid members who are signed up and active on that site. And if you want to join those folks and get in on the action, link for that page is in the description section below. And once again, that is patreon.com slash Brock page. And with that said, we got uh, six more games to cover here, guys. And like I said earlier, a lot of games on the West Coast, um, you know, some marquee games here uh, on the West Coast. So for our next matchup, we are going to break down Arizona versus Utah, and that's going to be a 7 p.m. Eastern start time. Now, the Arizona Wildcats are minus one on the road, totals 142 flat. Arizona won three out of their last four ball games, four months straight up on the road this season. The Wildcats are scoring 85 points a game when they travel, and they make nearly 42% of their three-pointers in that same category. They're currently in the top 10 in the nation in road scoring, top three in road offensive rebounding. James Akinjo is scoring 15 points a game for Arizona, a couple of boards and six assists for the junior from Oakland. Akinjo has also recorded 28 total steals defensively. Meanwhile, Benny Mathurin is averaging a dozen a night himself along with five rebounds. They're taking on a running Utes program who lost six out of their last nine ball games, and they make only 30% of their three-pointers at home. Now, the Utes have also failed to cover the number in five out of their last eight home games as well. And when it comes to the number in this one, Utah's last two straight both got over the number. Five out of their last seven also got over the line. Meanwhile, Arizona saw five out of their last seven get over the total themselves, uh, throwing out the Cal game, of course. Uh, the Wildcats are also 4-1 and one to the over uh, as the official road team. So with all that said and done, I'm going to go ahead and lean toward the Arizona Wildcats minus one in the over 142. All right, next matchup, we're going to dive into the Big Ten here for a little bit. I'm talking about, uh, well, this is a pretty big marquee game here. I'm talking about Ohio State versus Iowa, 7 p.m. Eastern tip-off at the Carver-Hawkeye Arena. Now, Iowa's minus six at home here, uh, numbers 156 and a half. And if you like the Buckeyes in an upset on the road here, they're plus $1.85 to win it. Now, Ohio State's on a three-game winning streak, six and one straight up in their last seven. The Buckeyes are scoring nearly 78 points a night. They hold their opponents to just 41% shooting from the field. E.J. Liddell is scoring nearly 16 points a night along with seven rebounds. The 6'7 sophomore has also recorded 14 steals and 19 blocks defensively. Meanwhile, Dwayne Washington Jr. is scoring 15 points a game himself along with three assists and 90% shooting from the foul line. They're taking on an Iowa team who lost two out of their last three ball games. And they also failed to cover the point spread in all three of those contests. I was giving up nearly 75 points a game, and they allow their opponents to connect on 36% of their three-pointers. Now, total-wise, two out of Iowa's last three stayed under the line. Five out of their last eight also stayed under the total. Meanwhile, on the other side of things, two out of Ohio State's last four stayed under the number themselves. I'm going to lean toward the underdog Ohio State Buckeyes plus six and the under 156 and a half. All right, next contest I have for you. We are going to remain in the Big Ten here. I'm talking about Minnesota versus Rutgers, and that's going to be a 9 p.m. Eastern start time in Piscataway. The Rutgers Scarlet Knights are minus five, totals 140 and a half. Rutgers is on a three-game winning streak, 700 win percentage on their home court. They're scoring 77 points a night at the rack, and they hold their opponents to just 31% shooting from beyond the arc. Ron Harper Jr. is scoring over 17 points a game along with six boards and a couple assists. Meanwhile, Jake Young is scoring 15 points a game himself along with a couple of boards and four assists a night as well. Now, the senior guard has also recorded 29 total steals on the season. They are taking on a Minnesota squad 
who's dropped four out of their last five ball games, and they also failed to cover the number in five out of their last seven. Now, we are looking at a Minnesota Golden Gopher team who makes just 32% of their field goals on the road uh, this season, and they find themselves averaging just 62 points a night as the away team. I believe, I'm not sure on this, but I believe Minnesota is dead last in the country in a road offensive field goal percentage. Uh, 32% is absolutely terrible in that stat. Uh, Minnesota is also 0-5 straight up on the road this season. And of course, they failed to cover the point spread in all five of those road games. Now, total-wise, six out of Minnesota's last 10 meetings with Rutgers got over the line. Rutgers, they've gone 60% to the over on their home court. Give me the Rutgers Scarlet Knights minus five in the over 140 and a half. All right, next contest, it is going to be on the West Coast. Stanford, Cal, 9 p.m. East. The Stanford Cardinal is minus five. Totals 132 flat. And if you like the Cal Golden Bears to win it straight up at home here, they're plus a buck 90. Now, Cal's on a four-game losing streak, two and eight straight up in their last 10. The Golden Bears scored just 66 points per contest. And they let their opponents make nearly 40% of their three-pointers. They're taking on a Stanford club who's in the top 25 in defensive field goal percentage on the road. The Cardinal allows just 69 points per contest when they travel. Oscar De Silva scoring 19 points a game for Stanford, 7 rebounds and 3 assists a night for the German. Meanwhile, Jaden Dallaire is scoring nearly 14 points a game himself, along with 5 rebounds. The Cardinal is limiting their opponents to just 31% shooting from downtown when they travel. And when it comes to the total on this one, the Cardinals' last two straight both got over the number, 8-1 to the over in their last nine. Meanwhile, Cal went 70% to the over in their last 10 themselves, 6-3 and three to the over at the Haas Pavilion. I'm going to lean toward the Stanford Cardinal, minus 5, and the over 132. Okay, our next contest, we're actually uh, not going to cover Gonzaga here. Uh, it's actually a, a game that's not on our big screen, but it is going to be Washington versus Oregon State. And that's going to be a 9 p.m. Eastern tip-off. Now, the Oregon State Beavers are minus 5 at home. Numbers 142 juice to the over. Washington is plus a buck 75 for some money line cash. The Huskies have lost eight out of their last 10 ball games, 0-7 straight up away from their home court. Washington scores just 67 points a game, and they make only 30% of their three-pointers on the road. Meanwhile, defensively, the Huskies are giving up nearly 87 points a game as the road team as well. They're taking on an Oregon State program who's 4-1 against the number in their last five. And they stifle their opponents into shooting just 29% from three land. Ethan Thompson is scoring over 16 points a game, along with four rebounds and four assists. Meanwhile, Jared Lucas is scoring 13 a game himself, along with a couple of rebounds. The sophomore guard is also drilling 95% of his free throws. Now, total-wise, the Beavers are 6-2 and two to the over in their last eight. 60% to the over at the Gill Coliseum. Meanwhile, Washington went 6-1 and one to the over in their last seven themselves. 5-0 to the over as the official road team. I'm going to lean toward the Oregon State Beavers, minus 5, and the over 142. And with that, guys, we're going to dive into our next and final matchup for the show. It is going to be Wazoo versus Oregon, 11 p.m. Eastern start time at the Knight Arena. Oregon's minus 12, totals 136. But as good as Oregon's been this season, they did lose two out of their last three ball games. They're also just 2-3 and three against the number in their last five. The Ducks are also making just 33% of their three-pointers at home. They're taking on a Washington State team who successfully covered the number in their last two straight. They also went 4-2 against the spread officially as the road team this year. The Cougs are led by Isaac Bonton, who scores 19 points a game along with four rebounds and four assists. The senior guard has also recorded 30 total steals. Meanwhile, 6'5 guard Noah Williams is scoring over 13 a game himself along with three rebounds and a couple assists. Williams has 26 steals defensively as well. And when it comes to the total in this one, Wazoo's 4-2 to the over when they travel. Oregon's 3-0 to the over in their last th uh, three straight themselves. I'm going to lean toward the underdog Washington State Cougars, plus 12, and the over 136. And with that, guys, we're going to dive into our quick pick recap, once again brought to you by patreon.com slash brockpage where we are 5-1 in our last $6.99 daily best plays on that site. 
eight and two straight up in our last 10. I like Temple plus one and a half over 139 and a hook. I also like Arizona minus one over 142. Give me, a, uh, what are we saying here, guys? Give me Ohio State. There we go. Ohio State plus six under 156 and a half. Give me Rutgers minus five over 140 and a hook. I like Stanford minus five over 132. I also like Oregon State minus five over 142. And before I give you my next and final game for the show, one final reminder that you can access today's daily best play on Patreon for just $1.99 by clicking the link in the description section below. Please feel free to smash the thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video. You can also subscribe right now if you haven't done so already. Give me the underdog Washington State Cougars plus 12 and the over 136. And with that, guys, we're going to dive into some shout outs to our top 10 YouTube commenters over the past couple of days or so. Shout out to LJ from Houston, Gusto Auto, Gary Rainey, Lex Steele, Iso the Don, Soundoff 078, Psychedelic Exploration, uh, Skits Slow, and last but certainly not least, got to give a shout out to my good friend, Leslie Botang. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. Uh, once again, guys, if you decide to get a package here today on Patreon, just keep in mind uh, that Patreon's going to bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, happy Thursday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage.